So we are talking to John Dwyer from the company Westrock. First of all, John, what is Westrock? So Westrock is a very large fiber-based packaging company. Uh, we're based in the U.S. Uh, we have operations uh, all over Western Europe, India, Brazil, uh, and our focus is on uh, corrugate paper-based fiber packaging. Okay, and what are you then doing at this conference for active intelligent packaging? Sure. Um, Westrock makes about 100 billion packages a year. Uh, our customers are very interested in how to make those products more efficient by making them smarter. We also make packaging machinery, uh, and so we're very focused now on making products that are born digital, that can easily connect to an IoT platform, and that can uh, aid in things like track and trace, uh, authenticity, uh, uh, inventory control, are all things our customers are interested in, and uh, it's important for us to be able to make packaging that supports those initiatives. And uh, today you're showing a concept that has created some interest. What can you tell us about that? Sure. So um, we partnered with Mars uh, Candies out of Chicago on a uh, program that supported NFL football. Um, NFL fans speak very much in a weekly cadence, and so this program uh, connects with fans very much in that weekly way. So Mars spends a lot of money on an NFL license, and they wanted to leverage that as much as possible. So what we did for them was create merchandising and packaging that changes each week, that reflects the results of the previous uh, week's match, and speaks to the fan in the same cadence that they speak to each other about their favorite sport. And uh, as far as I understand, this is collectible items, suddenly. That's right. All the packages are marked uh, as NFL officially licensed product. They're numbered in a sequence so that they are collectible. And uh, we're finding that fans are uh, buying and reselling on eBay for up to five times the purchase price uh, to ship product all over the country. And how do they communicate with the consumer? So um, there's web-based AR on the packaging in multiple locations uh, that results in trivia, collecting stickers, uh, the ability to uh, integrate the uh, M&M characters into selfies. Uh, so, and that changes on a weekly, sometimes on a daily basis. They're able to change all of that information in the cloud. So we've taken um, you know, what traditionally would be static packaging and created packaging as media, which we think is a very valuable concept. Okay, shall we take a look at the package maybe? You can describe what we see. Yeah, very much. So uh, the packaging um, incorporates conventional print. So the trays are printed in advance. Um, the M&Ms are printed in the team colors, and those are manufactured in advance. Each week, we receive a, uh, a download of the weekly statistics for the match. So we know which week it is. It's week eight. The team won, what the score is the stats for the players, the record within the division, and then there's an AR experience that uh, gives you trivia, uh, the ability to download stickers, uh, have more information about your favorite team. The, additionally, the uh, sleeves are marked as an officially licensed NFL product, and then there's a, uh, a number on each pack that indicates uh, the series, again, adds a collectability air to it, and we're finding fans are uh, collecting these and saving them, and uh, they're doing it over and over again every week. And how long will this campaign go on? The entire uh, season for the NFL, so 17 weeks, uh, which, is a, which is a challenge to run a promo that long, and we're using the digital print to refresh, to make the consumer aware that it's unique every week, and it's something they've never seen before, and they really uh, are very fond of and are buying more and more product every week. It's been a tremendous success. And it must be uh, quite expensive f for Marge. Um, uh, the packaging is more expensive for sure. The results are tremendous. Uh, the packaging sells at a higher rate. Uh, the cost is higher or the sell price is higher. Uh, Mars is finding this to be tremendous, tremendously successful and we expect this to roll out in greater volume. And where are they sold? In, in the shops or at the stadium? Uh, so they're sold in, uh, in a retail shop. Uh, they're in 13 stores right now, uh, and they're finding great demand, not only locally, but again, uh, reselling online. Uh, the the uh, NFL has fans all over the country, and so the, the Packers fans like to collect these things, and they're uh, buying them everywhere they can. And of course, it's a little bit fun that it's called the Green Bay Packers. As far as I understand, it's something to do with meat packing from the beginning. That's exactly right. Yeah, the Green Bay Packers are one of the oldest NFL franchises, and you're absolutely right. Uh, it uh, all stems from meat packing.